Hi, my name's Tom. I'm an edit assistant and a graphic designer. I'm going to show you how to colour comics in Photoshop. Okay, here I've got an example of one of the characters that I've drawn by hand and then scanned into Photoshop. I don't think Marvel or DC are going to give me a job as a colourist straight away, but this is a very simple way of just how to add colour to your characters or your drawings that you've scanned into Photoshop. So here I'm just going to use the outline example here. So what I've done is I re removed all the colour from inside, so it's just the shape of this little robot character that I've drawn. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into the character by holding Apple or Control if you're going to use a PC and then press the plus or the minus to zoom in and out of my drawing. Okay, now normally the quickest way to go around and paint in each section of the drawing, you would just use the magic wand tool, select the area and just fill the layer with colour. Now because of the sketchiness of the drawing, some parts of the layers have gaps in between them, so that makes it a little bit difficult to do. So I'm going to show you a slightly long window way of doing it, but it gets the desired effect and keeps within the sketchy effect that I was achieving with my original sketch. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with uh, the face, as you can see from his previous, sorry, from what I made earlier, I've used a, used a slightly lighter grey. So what I'm going to do is create a brand new layer. Quickest way to do that, hold down Apple or Control on a PC, shift and press the letter N on your keyboard. That gives you a new layer. Hit OK. Now the most important thing to do is now drag that layer underneath the original sketch. So I'm just going to label this layer here sketch so we know that it's that one there. So with my correct layer highlighted, I'm going to grab the brush tool, which is B in for the shortcut, or can be found in the tool palette here on the left hand side and I'm going to select my first colour. So, because I'm doing the front face, like I said before, slightly lighter than the sides bit here. I'm going to click on the colour picker and just, you know, choose a tone of grey. That one should be okay. Now, in order to speed this process up, I'm just going to increase the brush size to slightly larger, I think. 199, that'll be fine. And hardness, I'm just going to bump all the way up to 100% because I want nice blocks of colour. So hit enter. Now, you can just go to town, starting to paint in different parts of the face. Just like so. Now because the layer that I'm painting on is below the sketch, that's why you can still see my sketch outline. Just going to reduce the size there. So if you've made a few errors, like I have along the top here, you can use the Erase tool, which is the shortcut on the keyboard is E, or is the rubber shaped icon on the left hand side in the tools palette. And you can just go along and just remove any defects that I have done there. Just goes to show I can't colour within the lines still. Okay, so there's his face. So I'm just going to do the eyes. 
So I find it easiest to make new layers every single time you make a new color within the picture. So I'm gonna label that layer that I've just painted face, so I know that it's the face color. Make a new layer, again, quickest way. Apple or Control on the PC, Shift and N. I'm gonna label this one now. I'm gonna do the mouth now, actually. Just gonna label it mouth. So now that I've labeled this layer, the mouth, I'm gonna paint it in the mouth. Now it's important that the layers are in the correct order, otherwise you won't be able to see the color that which you're painting. This is very simple and easy to do. You just click on the layer that which you wish to move, and you can move it up or above the other layers within your sequence. So I want it in between the sketch and the block face color. So I'm gonna go down to the color picker down here. Select a slightly lighter gray than what I had before. with the brush tool selected, not the erase tool, that might help. Again, B for the shortcut on the keyboard or the brush shaped image here on the tool palette. And now I can just, again, color away to my heart's content. Okay. If you suddenly decide that you want to use a color on the sketch again and you can't quite get the tone right in the color picker, the easiest way to do that is to select the droplet which we have up here, the eyedropper tool, which is I on the keyboard. Hover it over the color of which you, in, of which you wish to sample again. Click on it and it'll now put the color back in the color picker down here on the left hand side. So I'm now going to start painting in his neck and the front of his chest there. So again, I'm going to make a new layer. Call that neck and chest just so I know for future reference when I want to try and change the colors later on. And it makes it easier to find really quickly. So, just gonna start painting on that selected layer. And it's just a case of building up layer upon layer of color. Now, because I'm going to paint this a slightly different color in a minute, it doesn't matter if I go over the lines there. Okay, so if we zoom out, it's starting to take some shape color-wise. So now I'm just going to quickly do this chest plate here. Again, new layer, Apple Shift N. So I'm sure that's chest plate. So for this version, I'm going to use a much darker grey. Again, making sure it's placed above the chest layer and neck that I have there. Selecting the brush. Start painting away. Now each of those elements there, I'm going to make different colours. So it doesn't really matter. Obviously, to speed this process up, if I increase the brush size, that's a bit too big. This will just speed up the job. So again, a bit too much ink, sorry, a bit too much paint there. 
use the eraser tool by selecting it on the toolbar here or pressing E on the keyboard for the shortcut. You can just go around and very quickly oops, So zoom in again. It's taking more and more shape. Okay, so this is quite a long-winded process. You could go for hours painting it, changing it, this, that, and the other. But as long as you make sure that your layers are in the correct order, you shouldn't go too wrong. So just going to put in a bit of a different grey. Sorry. So it's going to put in a completely different colour now. So I'm just going to do his buttons really, really quickly. Just label them buttons. Go down to the colour picker. Let's just use a red because it's a little bit more striking. Again, if I reduce the size of the brush. You can just very quickly go around and paint in all of his buttons like so. So if it's, sorry. So as you can see, that's just a very basic way of putting color within the, within the sketch that I've drawn. If you suddenly decide that you don't think that that gray that I've used on his face, for example, is the right tone, you can use the curves or the levels to change the shade of gray on his face. So the easiest way to do that is to select the face layer, press Apple or Control L and you get up this menu. If you then drag these options around, you can very quickly start to changing the colors like so. Again, this is all up to your own interpretation. If you decide that the colors aren't correct, you can go back, erase. But as long as you put stuff on the new layer, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. And eventually, you could end up with something that looks a little bit like that. And that's how you color comics in Photoshop.